what is up you guys welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is having an amazing day it is currently monday april 20th so yes okay so I'm back home now. I actually had the most literally fun weekend. On Thursday, which was my birthday, um, I got to spend it with my twin brother. As you guys know, I see him like twice a week because we volunteer at a food pantry together. So I was actually able to celebrate my birthday with him for the first time in legit so many years. Like because we've lived in different places and we've always lived far apart, we haven't celebrated our birthday as twins in the longest time. Like. I don't even know the last time we were able to spend a birthday together, so it was just really, really special. And obviously yesterday, if you didn't see, if you don't follow my Instagram, at Faber Shaheen, then you know finally what I was talking about in my last video. So in my last vlog, I was talking about how I was recording something exciting. Uh, it turned out that the video part that I recorded didn't totally work. But long story short, uh, Ghost is currently doing a series with GNC, like GNC Live Well, you know, where you buy all your supplements. The GNC. <laughs> Anyway, they're doing a series with them and uh, the ghost team asked me to record a little recipe for the ghost and GNC series about staying at home that they're doing. So I did, of course, a protein birthday cake recipe with the ghost chips ahoy. And I was really excited because yesterday GNC put it up on their page and that was just like a really crazy, surreal, cool thing for me. And since my last video, not the Awful Late Haul, but the one before that, I've gotten so many nice messages from you guys of support and your comments on that video were literally so freaking nice. Um, just like congratulating me and everything for uh, teaming up with Ghost and for, I don't know, just for my journey. It's been really, really crazy. Just like the support you guys have shown me the past few days. And I'm just so grateful and excited. And seeing that yesterday was so cool. I was just like, holy crap, that's my face on GSC's page. It was nuts, I was so pumped. So anyway, thank you guys for all of that. I will be announcing the protein giveaway winner at the end of this video. I'm super excited to do that and to give back to you guys that um, supported me on that video and commented and followed me and everything else. So now, we're gonna do a few things in this video. Thing one, I get questions all the time on my fingernails and because I'm missing two, this is the perfect time for you to know what I do with my fingernails. I got so many comments on my Awfully haul about, girl, we're in quarantine, how are you getting your nails done? I'm not getting my nails done, I just use gluons. I've been using gluons for a long, long time. There's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing to have against gluons. So as you guys know, I bartend on the weekends, so forever I was getting acrylic nails and they were always popping off. Like, I was dealing with that all the time, where I would get a set and then I would go work on the weekend and I would break a nail, Oh, and it was so annoying because I had like just paid to get it done and I would have to go back and pay more to get it fixed And it was just like this whole stupid thing So I just started using glue-ons and I'm now realizing that I have the wrong pack in front of me Hold on one second. Oh, and then after we go over this nail thing I'm gonna teach you guys how to take your Instagram photos by your damn self because you don't need a man To take your Instagram photos. Okay, I got you. So anyway the nails. You also don't need a nail tech, apparently. So I get mine at Walgreens. You can also get them at Walmart, Target, whatever. I've tried a million, million brands of these. I've tried brands in the UK. I've tried brands online. I've tried brands all over. But the best, best, best brand of the press on nails are this one. And these are actually newer. I found these kind of recently, probably six weeks ago. And these ones are the best. But if you can see these ones right here, they're called the Gel Fantasy High Volume Gel Nails. These ones are in the long length and they're this coffin shape. So that's what I have on my nails right now. They're just a bit worn down. So these ones right here, I love these ones. They're in the pink color. The ones I have on my nails are just like the nude color ones, which I have here. So basically just to make this quick go to your walgreens go to your walmart buy the kiss brand nails they, they have french ones that are good they have other ones that are good too the gel fantasy ones right here they just feel the realest they are like still a little flexible but they don't break easily they don't pop off the problem if you buy um the press on ones that just have like a sticker on them is a they're gonna pop off or b they're gonna break what i found with a lot of other ones is if the nail itself is too thick it will just snap off these ones are flexible enough that when it comes time to take them off you almost have to like peel them off your nail and like they'll break in half as you're peeling them because they're actually flexible enough and they're almost like the texture of a real nail so these ones are the best part two most important thing 
you have to rough up your nail. I know that's scary and people don't want to do that because they're like, oh, it's going to get damaged. But hun, when you get gel nails done, when you get your acrylic nails done, what do you think they're doing with that spinny file? They're roughing the fuck out of your nail to make the glue stick to make the nail stick. So it's just part of it. So the trick is don't use the nail file that comes in your thing. Buy a good nail file that actually has like some grip to it. This one I have literally had for ages. Okay, so that's easy. Now the thing is with the glue, <laughs> once you open this glue, you are using it only for that set of nails. You cannot use it for your next set of nails. So the thing about this glue is after you use it the first time, when you use it, it's gonna work awesome. Your nails are not gonna pop off. They're gonna do well. You're gonna be good. You are gonna put a drop of glue on your fingernail as well as the inside of the fake fingernail and you're going to put it on your finger and you're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Don't move. Hold it for 10 seconds. Hold it there or it's not gonna stay. Let it dry. And then you can keep that bottle of glue for touch-ups. Like if you lose one nail, you can use that glue again to touch it up. But when you're ready for a full new set of nails, go buy a new glue. So yes, it's annoying. You're going to buy like a new $2.99 glue every time. That just is what it is. That's what you're going to have to do with that one. The other option, if you have access to a Sally's, I guess you can order online. Um, or you can just find this online somewhere. The other one you can use, this one will last like five sets. I think it's like $3.99 instead of $2.99. Um, and this one is called the Wonder Bond Nail Bliss Pro. I'll put a picture of it right here for you guys. This is the other option. This one is nice because it has a little brush um, that makes it a lot easier to apply the nails. You can use this one for like five uses and when it's when you can't use it anymore, the like glue itself starts to get like thick and you'll know that you can't use it anymore. Mine is definitely on its last use today. So that's the story. I will show you really quickly just me popping on a nail if you want to see it. Um, and I will list like <laughs> below links to my favorite like fake nail products if you guys are interested. I feel like for the guys watching this, you're like, this is the most boring thing I've ever seen, Brittany. Why are you doing this? I'm sorry. I know you guys want to know. So you just fit the nail to your finger, right? Right here. So that one fits. And we're going to take the rough side of the nail file. Sorry about this. This is the ugliest lighting I've ever had in my whole life. I always file my real nail down pretty short, like very short, short as I can. And then make sure you file the top of your nail, just like, how do I do this? Like this, right? And it's gonna look like white, so that it's gonna be rough. So I'm taking the glue. This one, like I said, is on a little brush. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the fingernail. And then I'm going to put on my fingernail and then I'm going to put glue on the inside of the acrylic nail as well. And I'm going to stick it on there for 10 whole seconds. That's all you do, literally it. And then you just file it to how you want it and don't get your hands wet for an hour and you should be good to go. But anyway, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was informative for all you ladies who can't get your nail salon. Now you're going to be okay. This is how long it is on my nail and I'm just going to file it down as you can see. So I'm going to head Back to my mom's. We're just gonna spend all my vlogs at my mom's now. I'm gonna head there, pick up a package, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to take Instagram photos. Okay, so we just got home. I think someone's in here waiting for me. Hello. Hi, did you miss me so much? I dropped Mila off here on Friday for my mom to take her for the weekend. And it's Monday and she's excited. Do you think I was gonna leave you forever? Huh? Did you think I wasn't coming home? So this right here is the actual reason I came over. Let's open it up. Here we go. If you guys haven't already heard, Ghost has come out with greens. This is what they look like right here. This is the coolest packaging I've ever seen in my life. So they came out with this one, which is in the lime flavor. And then this one right here, which is just like the original greens, which I guess isn't flavored. So what I'm going to do, I figure I might as well do a live taste test for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and try the lime one just mixed in with water. I've heard really good things. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know, I used to take a different green supplement and there was like a whole thing on my YouTube about how to make these greens taste better, where I would literally like mix them with orange juice. I put Mio in them. I put aminos in them. I tried all these different things to like make myself drink them. And with like orange juice, they weren't that bad, but I think everybody wants greens that they can just like literally mix up and drink and not have to flavor them with anything. And apparently the lime ones are really good. So I'm a harsh critic. I probably have like four containers of greens. Oh my gosh, in my house. 
that are full because I never finished them because I just couldn't make myself do it every day. So I'm really, really excited to try this out and I will live taste test it for you guys. I think I'm gonna go sit outside because it's beautiful out and Mila maybe will slow her roll if I go out there, we'll see. So I'm also recording my live taste test on Instagram which is right down here. Okay, so this right here is a new product. This is the Ghost Greens right here in the lime flavor. And I think what's so cool about like these greens specifically is that they're both greens and reds. So if you actually like read the supplement label, it's like ghost fruits and vegetables, which is the greens. And then there's a whole blend of antioxidant reds, which is awesome. And obviously I'll post all the information about the new greens down in the description, the link to shop, everything like that. These are going to be launching Wednesday, April 22nd at 12 PM central time. And these other times, if you need to know. Um, and I will leave the link down below. All the information for all this will be on my Instagram. If you guys want a discount, you get a 20% discount with code Brit. So that makes them go from $45 to $35. So honestly, that's really freaking good. That's awesome. And what's so cool about this is Ghost partnered with this company called One Tree Planted. So for every single unit of greens that are sold, they're going to be planting one tree, which I think is so cool. That's just so special. Like <laughs> what a way to do it. And it's going to be launching on Earth Day, which is April 22nd. So it all makes sense. It's all great. I'm excited about it. I really freaking hope I like these because the hype has been big and I'm so picky about everything. And like you guys know, if it's not asparagus, if it's if it's a vegetable, I'm probably not eating it. So I'm hoping that this is my way that I can somehow learn to get my vegetables in. So let's try it. So I have just water in here with a little bit of ice. Little scoop. I feel like, should I just rate it out of 10? Of like, you have to understand though, greens are <laughs> taste like a two. Like they're usually disgusting. So I feel like if it's higher than a five, then that's like a big compliment, you know? Okay. Honestly, they taste like greens. Like I'm not gonna act like they don't taste like greens, but they taste like lime green. Is if you blended together water and lime and some spinach, that's what it tastes like to me. But I could totally drink this just like by itself. Like the lime definitely makes it taste good. Like it just kind of tastes like limey water. Honestly, this is like, for a green, this is literally a 10 out of 10. Like greens are normally gross and smell gross. And this doesn't even, smell bad like it literally doesn't I feel like probably people probably think I'm a freaking liar because I'm like tasting it live but I feel like I've tried enough things on my channel that I've been like no that's gross or no I don't like it to like tell you you know what I mean I can tell you if I didn't like it and I wouldn't tell you to go buy it because oh my god if you got this in the mail and it tasted like an asshole you would be so upset like you would not be happy with me so I think I think that's fair if you want if you want a green that you can just drink by itself, like just on its own, just shake it up with water and ice, then 100% get the line. But honestly, like this is good. This is kind of like juice. That's my two cents. If you guys want to grab it, like I said, it launches Wednesday uh, and you can use code Brit for your discount. All the information is going to be down below in the description. And yeah, follow me on Instagram for some updates or anything about it. Mila is now running sprints. Um, I am going to go ahead and move on and show you guys the behind the scenes of how to get the best IG photo of your life. Okay you guys, so I just got to the first spot where I am taking photos and I'm just gonna run through quickly all of the stuff that I use to take the photos. So here's the thing is for the longest time I never had to take my own photos. I was in a relationship obviously for a million years where we had the same job. So I never had to worry about photos or videos or having help recording or anything like that. So it's been a huge, huge learning curve for me with this type of job doing it by myself and I have so much more respect for people who started by themselves and have always done it by themselves because it's definitely different um, and I have been learning some tips and tricks over the past few months on how to get um, content out for you guys on my own without any help so sometimes my friend Whitley who is Grayscape photo on Instagram I'll tag her page right here sometimes she takes my photos and she's freaking amazing and she's so nice and I love her and um, we went to high school together and everything so I just I love hanging out with her like when we get to take photos together it's just like a hang out sesh which is really fun and she's so so good at what she does so for the times that I have to get stuff last minute like ghost comes out with new stuff pretty freaking often so there's a lot of things that need to be taken like on the fly like I just got these greens today and they launch Wednesday so I need to get a photo and a video today before Wednesday you know what I mean so ghost their style on Instagram is they do a lot of like wide shots so it's a lot easier to get a regular like vertical shot for Instagram for anyone who posts on Instagram you know this um, it's usually better to have like a vertical 
uh, picture because it takes up more of the screen when you're like scrolling through Instagram, right? So those are really easy to get just on my iPhone. So most of my photos on my Instagram page are literally just from my iPhone, which is actually amazing. I have the iPhone, what is it? The X Plus, is that what this one is? The three cameras, the really big one. That's all I got. So most of my photos are taken on that. And the way that I do it for my phone pictures, literally all you need is this magic little shutter guy right here so the one that i have i'll link it down below um and you can get it on amazon it's like literally 15 dollars i think for this thing um mine is the insignia brand so it's this little shutter guy and then it comes with this little tripod for your phone which is tiny so what i do is i just take this tripod and i attach it to my big tripod to hold up my phone which is like this big tripod right here which by the way is the best tripod I've ever had I'll link this down below as well it's like on so I think it's only like $70 and it's super sturdy it can hold like a big um, EOS camera and it doesn't move it's awesome so all I do for the iPhone photo is I connect this to Bluetooth on my phone I'll show you guys how I do that and then I literally just like put this in my hand wherever my photo is and I just click the button and it snaps the photo so I can take a whole bunch by myself um, I will go ahead and show you an example of kind of what I do and ghost likes either like a solid clean background or they like a graffiti background and strangely enough there's tons of cool like graffiti and artwork walls in Lexington so I found a couple online um, I usually go to the same couple areas but I figured I needed some new stuff so I'm in a random one there's actually a lot of cars around so I'm hoping nobody sees me but yeah I'll show you guys just how I set it up so this spot right here is the first place I'm gonna shoot we just have this kind of cool wall right here and then there's a black and white one over there but I think I'll probably just do it here and I'm going to be shooting the ghost vegan chocolate cereal milk protein okay so I have the tripod set up and now I'm just gonna take this little guy with these arms and just like wrap them around the tripod so. and I do use the back camera on my phone front camera isn't as good quality. And it looks like that. So you just wrap it around. And then basically, hopefully you can see this with the sun. I'm gonna open my phone. This is my Bluetooth section. I'll allow new connections. And then I turn this little guy on. Okay, so now it's connected to this. So then I just go to my camera app. And as you can see, when I click this button, it takes a photo. So now all I have to do is go stand in front of it and I'll take my photos. Sometimes I shoot portrait mode, sometimes I just shoot regular. I think for right now, I'm just gonna do regular. So yeah guys, that is basically it. I have switched over to my phone for the rest of the vlog or just for right now because my camera has died. But I hope that made sense. If for some reason it didn't, then I'll insert another clip. But yeah, you basically just use that little shutter button. You can also use your front camera to take the pictures until you get used to it. I feel like that's something that I had to do for a while. The first like few times I did this, I would like miss myself or the lighting would be wrong or whatever else. And my biggest tips are just like, A, try not to shoot in direct sunlight because kind of like you saw in those photos what I was struggling with was that there was like that shadow that was halfway through so if you are shooting in direct sunlight then like you want there to be no shadows it needs to be like a clean sunlight on you or none at all it's actually best to shoot when it's cloudy out or when it's like six o'clock like before the sun goes down when it just starts to get a little bit dimmer outside I just find that to be a lot easier because then you're not dealing with shadows everywhere I never shoot with a flash I always do it like this and hopefully I got some good photos out of it I'm gonna try uh, and if this is something that you guys are interested in me like making a video about like I don't know it sounds really weird but when I'm <laughs> I think this first happened when I was in LA with Michaela and um, Morgan, the other girl that we were with uh, in the Never Have I Ever video. I was kind of like posing them for photos and not to say by any means that I'm like a good poser or anything like that, but I do feel like I've learned like angles and like how to get a good photo. Um, so yeah, so if that's something that you guys are interested in me making like a whole video on, then I think I would totally do that because I really enjoy it weirdly. Like I enjoy the process now of taking photos and at first it was so frustrating and I would literally try to get photos and I would just like go home and cry about it because I could never do it by myself and yeah and honestly like the big picture of this is just like in general thinking that like I couldn't do this job by myself and I'm doing it and I'm really proud of myself and I'm here alone in my car with this big mess of crap everywhere but I just know that I can do it and yeah so I'm in the next location now I will show you what it looks like um and I'm gonna get some photos here 
with the greens. So another cool thing is to like, I don't know, I try to coordinate a little bit, especially when it comes to the ghost stuff. So like, I'm gonna be shooting the greens. So I'm wearing these like um, halo leggings in the green color, cause I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it'll look kind of cute. And this top is actually, you guys ask me about this top all the time. This is actually a Lazuli label top. This is their little moon logo down here. Um, and they sent me this top and it's just so cute. And I wear it with every color leggings cause I don't have enough white tops. So. I'm gonna be shooting this. Let me show you what this cool wall looks like. So this is the next spot. We have this big giant wall and I guess it's supposed to be like water, earth and air or something. So I'm probably just gonna shoot in front of this right here and see what we can get. But I will pop up on the screen what I ended up getting. In here we have the final location. All right, you guys, so I'm going to end this video right here. I hope that was helpful. I hope you learned something. Um, like I said, I will leave all the links to everything down in the description, including all the information about the ghost launch and all of the different camera stuff that I use, as well as like the camera that I use to vlog, if that's interesting to you and just everything else will be down there. So if you guys have any other questions or if there's anything you want me to make a video about, whether it be more about pictures and like how I do it, or just about anything, um, because this quarantine is going on, I could record some home workouts, but I don't know how interesting they are. I'm not really sure what you guys wanna see. So it would be so awesome if you could leave me some comments on exactly what you wanna see on my channel, and I'll make sure I get that up, um, you know, in the next however long this quarantine lasts. And for the winner of my Ghost Lifestyle Protein Tub, again, thank you so much to any of you who commented, who, who entered the giveaway by subscribing or following me on Instagram or anything like that. But Olivia Ziegler, uh, you are going to get a tub of Ghost Lifestyle Protein. So go ahead and message me on Instagram at FitBritShaheen. Send me your details and I will get that sent over to you. And don't worry, you guys, there will be tons more giveaways in the future. I want to and need to give back to you in any way that I possibly can. So um, I will also be announcing the Alphalete gift card giveaway winners on my Instagram, I believe tomorrow, uh, once you're watching this video. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.